right, everybody. It's February 15th, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. We are going to do a drive around the lake. As you can see, we've had a little bit of accumulation. It's not as much as I was hoping for at this point, but it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. I don't know. I think at my house, we got maybe two and a half inches. So it's nothing too special, but as I said, better than nothing. And we can get loose, which is pretty fun. So I love this time, this time of the season when we get snow. It's been such a miserably slow snow season. But yeah, we're gonna do a drive around the lake, y'all. Just so you can get a sense of what it's like at nighttime driving in town. Right now, the temperature is currently 24 degrees. Kind of going a little bit fast. I should slow down a little bit. So there's hardly anybody on the road and it's only eight o'clock. I love this. This is awesome. This makes me so happy. I'm trying to drive like a jerk. I'm just going in the, the other lane because there are two lanes here. This is tire chain weather for a lot of you. I just want you guys to be safe. I know some of you say, well, you don't wear, you don't use tire chains. And I should, I probably should. Knock on wood, I don't get stuck. But if I do, that is my fault. But yeah, this is pretty cool, you guys. Now it's 25 degrees. But yeah, we're gonna drive all the way as if we're driving out of town. And then we're gonna go into Fawn Skin and do a little Fawn Skin check. We might actually do the whole valley. All the way to Baldwin, so you guys can see if there's just very little snow over there compared to this side of town like usual. Remember, I've coined the Big Bear Snow Rule. For those of you who are fairly new, that just means that this side of town will always get more snow than the other side of the valley, which is pretty crazy because it's only an eight mile difference, but it's a pretty significant difference in terms of the amount of snowfall we'll get. That's where I had dinner tonight, right there. Little Taco Bell. I got three cheese quesadillas, oh yeah. Is another lane but I'm trying to be very responsible for all of you I'm trying not to set a bad example if I do I'll turn off the camera <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm just kidding but I may have to do that actually you know what they are going way too slow so we are gonna change change lanes here oh yeah this is awesome Guys, look, we're only going 30 miles per hour. 33. So it's not like we're going that fast. Alright. We shouldn't have any more cars in front of us the rest of the way around, I'm betting. I'll bet you anything up here around this corner, over by Chevron, there might be a car accident, but I hope not. I sure hope not, because there always is on that corner for some reason there will be a car stuck. So hopefully there's nobody stuck. The only good thing if you guys got stuck right now when there's no one on the road is that you would get help pretty quickly. If it's during the daytime and you get stuck during a snowstorm, it, it's pretty tough. Sometimes you guys, or actually most of the time when we have big storms up here and it's really crowded, if you get stuck, even if you have AAA, it can take them over 24 hours to get to you. So that's why it's always really important to keep a bunch of blankets and warm clothing in your car and food and water in your car. And uh, let a few people know where you're going and when to expect you. Oh my gosh, the corner I was talking about, there's an accident. I can't believe it. I hope I didn't jinx that situation, but there's an accident up here. Yeah, just keep a bunch of food and water in your car and let two or three people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you and make it a point to get back to them when you get to your destination safely because you want to be as safe as possible. Whoa, there's a bunch of people over here. Hope everyone's okay. Oh, that's nice. Y'all 
officer looks like he, he's helping him put on tire chains. That is so cool. Because that is like one of the most miserable things to do when it's freezing outside is put on tire chains. will find up here, believe it or not, a bunch of good Samaritans that will help you do things like that, not just the cops. I've seen it often, and it's really, really cool to see that. Because we want you to have fun up here. We need you guys to come up here so you can spend some money and help our economy. So we want you to have a good time. We don't want you to have a terrible time. But I'll tell you what, being stuck in the snow and having to put on tire chains, oh my gosh. Especially when it's too late, like when you need the chains and you got to dig yourself out a little bit and then put them on. Man, that's, wow. No fun. No funny fun fun. dead the town is guys this is amazing it feels like it's 2 in the morning not 8 15 p.m. 8 18 actually and the temperature dropped down to 23 oh cool we're going 19 miles an hour that's okay though Looks like on the radar we have another blast of snow coming in uh, probably around midnight so I just want you guys to see what the town's looking like right now so those of you who are gonna jump all over it you might have a chance to, to get up here well actually I wouldn't say that I um, because this is just what it looks like in town right now but coming up the mountain on the front side you guys it's probably getting hammered right now friend of ours on this channel in Crestline said they have I think already six or eight inches or something like that something crazy so it will be rough for you guys to get up the mountain but then it seems like once you get into Big Bear you'll be okay even though the roads are a bit slick they are definitely slick all right so we're coming up to a straightaway where I will be able to pass Please don't think I'm a jerk for passing you guys. I'm really not. It's just like he, he, he could pull over and let me go, but he's only going 20 miles an hour. So we are going to pass. Dam, you guys. Wish we didn't have traffic in front of us so we could use our brights. But that's okay. At least 
you guys can see kind of how cars are driving up here right now. See, this side of town gets a lot more snow. I think they probably have a good four inches over here, maybe three inches, maybe four, I don't know. But it looks like a lot more than my area. Man, I'm excited to do that drawing tomorrow. I can't believe how many names I've written down. I'm gonna get carpal tunnel from all the writing. But you guys, it's worth it. It's so worth it. To hook my brothers and sisters up. slow down so I can turn on my brights. I'm going to let him go. There's, there's no one behind us. No one at all. Not even close. So I'm just going to go like one mile an hour just to let him get up ahead so we can see how beautiful this whole area is. Look at that. Look at how much snow they have over here already. As I said, there's no one behind me. I would not hold people up like that. I would pull over for them. But then again, that's because I know what I'm doing up here. I understand for new drivers up here, it's very scary. So that's why I've listened to your guys' advice and kind of taken it easy on people. And you know what? It's helping me to relax as well because I'm not allowing myself to get as stressed out on drivers just doing their thing. It's their world and we're all passing through it. But you know what? As long as it makes them feel safe, then that's fine with me. I don't want anyone to do anything dumb up here to try and appease me. As I tell all of you guys, when you have somebody on your tail up here, I always suggest pull over as soon as you can to let them pass. Never ever speed up, especially in these conditions. Never speed up to let them through or to let them pass because you have a good chance that you might lose control of your car or truck or if you're crazy, your motorcycle. And you don't want that to happen. So just let the people pass. It's not a race to the top, even though sometimes I get really impatient and it feels like it is. Um, your lives are way more valuable than getting into a wreck. I wish I would have brought my drink with me, damn it. And Fawn Skin Liquor Store is closed right now, so I can't go get me a Sprite. Oh, man. Wow, it's pretty over here. When these rocks are covered in snow to the left, it looks just simply marvelous. Can't wait till our next drive around midnight or so. That's gonna be cool. So remember how much snow we have on this side of town, because as I said, I think we're gonna go do a whole valley tour this time. We're gonna go all the way to the other side, and we shouldn't have any traffic on the other side at all. We should be the only car the whole time. So I'm hoping that is the case. To the right is the lake. You can't really see it. But you can see the kind of sunlight beaming off the lake. That's really pretty. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But it looks really pretty. Okay. Seriously, guys, remember how much snow you see over here. And then when we get into Baldwin, I bet there will be brown spots everywhere. Wow, this is a winter wonderland over here. This is beautiful. Oops, what's going on here? Looks like, oh man, accident. Hope everybody's okay. We better slow way down here. Looks like they're just towing the dude. It's amazing how they bring out a fire truck for, for stuff like, like that. Poor guy, man. Oh man, he hit a tree, poor guy. Oh dude, I hate seeing that, you guys. You guys are coming up here to have fun, not get in an accident like that. Well, I'll be praying for you, brother or sister. I hope you're okay. Oh, man, that sucks. And, guys, that could be us at any time, too. So make sure you're always wearing your seatbelts up here. Look, at, look, look, we're at the Big Bear Dam, and it is, it's just kind of eerie how quiet it is right here. Let's stick the camera out, out the window here. 
here. That light way off in the distance, if you guys can see that light just past this tree, that's Snow Valley Ski Resort. That little tiny light at the very top there. All right, so we're heading into the fawn skin area from here, and we're gonna be driving right alongside the lake. That's the lake on the right-hand side. We're gonna be driving right alongside the lake. snow summit at nighttime from across the lake you guys it's gonna be a beautiful sight slow down Nick slow down man there's just nobody out here right now but that's snow summit way out there let me roll down the window so you don't get any glare it'll be a lot better view in a little bit a lot better view incredible right now I really wish you guys could see this through the camera or just in person it doesn't look as great through the camera but it just looks so peaceful it looks like a lake in the middle of freaking no well I guess it is kind of in the middle of nowhere up here but I mean it looks like in the middle of middle of nowhere nowhere in the middle of middle of nowhere nowhere Two degrees now, folks. Can't believe how cold it got all of a sudden, man. These temperatures dropped like crazy. But I think the reason why the temperatures are sinking so much is because we got a little break in the storm right now and it cleared up for a few minutes. So, yeah, those clouds keep the heat in under, you know, underneath. So once the clouds go away, then all that excess heat rises and we're left with these cold temperatures. Ooh, it's cold. I love driving with my window down, but it is cold. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cold. Cool. Obviously, I turn off the brights when we have cars coming, but turn them back on when they're gone. We can see pretty well with the brights on, so you can get a sense of how much snow there is, but during the daytime, it's so much better. I still love these 4K night drives, though.
friends sent me videos from Orange County showing me how heavy the hail was. I couldn't believe I was looking at the streets all white in Orange County. It was pretty cool. But I thought that was going to be coming up here. Maybe it's still on its way. I don't know. But that was a good hour and a few minutes ago. So maybe it's just getting up here. Wow, man. That moon is making those clouds look beautiful. skin is 25 and you do not want to go 26. friend of mine needs me to pick up one of his employees at work when his place closes at 10 tonight. So I just have to make sure that I get back on time to be able to get there. If I can be going faster, I can make it no problem.
a good job of keeping the roads pretty clean. Seriously, they do a great job. They really do a great job up here.
back up to 20 degrees. Stop and travel. 
we're getting like the just the golden treatment tonight. This is great. So that's what the third or fourth accident we've seen already just on this little way. I am praying that we don't see any more. So far it looks like everyone's okay in these accidents, so that's that makes me happy. Look at how much the temperature has risen since we left Fonska. It was 19 over there, now it's 23 over here. Over here is Baldwin Lake to the right. You can't really see anything. Damn it, I forgot toilet paper. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't use the bathroom like that. People are, are, are gonna pull over in that spot and be like, wow, this is a really weird brown snow. <laughs> that is so gross, I'm sorry. That is so disgusting. But now we don't have any traffic. And I like it a lot. There's the cars up there ahead of us. And they're probably gonna get to Baldwin right when we do, so that's gonna be perfect. I know those of you who've been watching this channel a long time, you must be proud of me for not getting so irritated today, today or tonight, whatever. I really am getting a lot better. San Bernardino truck and <laughs> he let me pass that's super cool now watch him pull me over <laughs> try and catch me I drive very well in these conditions it'd be hard to catch me see look at that though you guys like that that's just amazing and look, you can see where that accident is in Baldwin. I don't know if you can see the siren or the police lights over there. Oh, you can't. There's all these trees. Dang it. You can see all the way across the Baldwin Lake right there where the accident is. And it's 25 degrees now over here. So look, guys, there's hardly any snow over here. Isn't this incredible compared to what we were just in on the other side of town? They didn't even get an inch over here. That's just crazy. Every single time, you guys. 
every single time. Baldwin has some water in it. You can see the lake a bit over here. I, you can't see it through the camera, sadly. But my goodness, it looks incredible. I mean, it looks like just a huge lake. I can't wait till that area is full all the time. I promise you, they could fetch more money for these properties over here, which would be awesome. Look, see the police lights over there? Or the ambulance and stuff? Way out there? The red and blah, blah, blah. The red and blah blah blah. That's it. Never heard of blah 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 color, but hey. Seriously, I don't think they even got a whole inch over here. They may have got close to an inch, but it's really not that much over here. like it's getting cloudier so that's always a good sign I don't see any stars up here tour. Just the main part of the valley though, not like Irwin Lake and stuff like that. Because we have to go up Highway 38 to do that, so we're not going to do that. We're just doing the whole main part of the valley. So from Baldwin Lake all the way to the dam. Basically where we just were, like about three minutes ago, was the very end of the valley where if you kept on going straight on highway 18 you would start heading down the mountain maybe a quarter mile up not even that far actually i love this little tunnel of trees right here it is so cool kind of got a romantic feel to it too if there was like a five-star hotel at the other end of this it would be nice I don't know what my infatuation with those are, what those is, but you only live once and I enjoy that type of stuff.
wish I could say there's plenty of snowfall coming our way. It really is incredible difference in the amount of snow from one side of town to the other. Just amazing. So now we're coming back up onto Highway 38, and this will turn into Big Bear Boulevard as soon as we cross the stop sign here. And then we'll be on our, pretty much our final leg, all the way back home. So this is Highway 38, this direction, folks. And we are on Big Bear Boulevard now. Headed all the way back home. Johnny Law, but we weren't speeding, I don't think. snow videos guys I won't be doing that often but I really care about that guy just a genuinely big-hearted guy Dead Man's Curve. I don't know how more cars don't crash down that little hill right there and fall right into the houses. It's amazing to me that that doesn't happen more often. There's 
there's no retaining wall or nothing right there. If you go over that edge, you're going to go right into somebody's house. It's just crazy. guys next week we could have a much bigger system coming through it's what it's looking like right now so I am really hopeful that this last month or two of snow season we will make up for the whole season being crappy see snow summit in the clouds all the lights on it's gonna be awesome side guys so I'm not driving like a jerk. I don't want you to think I'm driving like a jerk. But that's just spectacular. There's Stater Brothers. That's not too spectacular. And there's Vaughn's. Definitely not too spectacular. But that right there, that is wonderful. you guys once it starts snowing again i'll go out and make another video of course peace out good night everybody